What shall we play? I've got so many Steam games! Let's try playing them all. Oh my goodness. The exciting music begins. Games Farm. Alright. Air Conflict Secret Wars. No idea where this one came from, but it's in my Steam library and it's part of my Steam stuff, so let's go. Pilot description. Create new pilot. Let's let's create new. Storp. Storp. Storples. Storples. Like Biggles, but Storples. Storpy. Okay. Done. Pilot description. Game summary. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. We've got all of that. That's fine. Uh, we can continue. Campaign, dogfight, multiplayer, replay, mission, options, credits, back. It's got to be campaign. Let's do it. The Siege of Tobruk in Libya. March 1941 to October 1941. I said Marge, which was wrong. Um, I'm My hitting play. Dorothy de Beck, daughter of the great departed fighter ace Guillaume de Beck. My friends call me Didi. Hello, Actually, Didi. When all this began back in July 41, I had only one friend, Tommy Carter. Name's Tommy I Carter. With my father in the Great War. Tommy raised me. He joked that God had forgotten to give me feathers. Aww. On my 14th birthday, he told me, I've never known anyone so uncomfortable on the ground, but so at peace in the air. I probably shouldn't have been flying at that age, but Tommy didn't seem to care. Of course he, he didn't. To teach me. And I wanted to learn. Does he look like a man who cares about Tommy that? Tommy and I had survived well enough back then. We smuggled, bartered, and stole, taking any job that required a pilot. But the war changed everything. The world was on fire, and the flames were closing in around us. Oh, the dear. skies were no longer safe. But Tommy was right about me. There was no way I was staying on the ground. We were getting in the plane. Okay, destination Tobruk. Tobruk is under siege, and no one knows how long it can hold out. Independents are usually frowned upon, but in this situation, seasoned smugglers are the Allies' best friend. Supplies are more important than conscience when the enemy is at the gates. Objectives? Land at Tobruk. Alright. Troll scheme. Uh, keyboard simulation, sure. I am definitely... Let's go pilot. Alright, cool. Not available for this mission, those planes. Okay, it's recommending the Sopwith Camel, which has decent agility, low speed. Um, the Albatross does not have great agility. Oh, well, let's, let's go with what it recommends, the Sopwith Camel. Let's have a look at the, uh, the Sopwith Camel. The Albatross is there, missing an S, but maybe that's because it's, I don't know, Greek or something. Continue. Tobruk has become to home to Tommy and I. Oh, this is Comic Sans, guys, come on. Our business, though not especially successful, is keeping us alive, fed and in cigarettes. But the war in Libya has intensified throughout 41, as Graziani's failed Italian push gave way to Rommel's hard-headed campaign. For the last six months, we've been feeling life in Tobruk slowly tighten. We can charge more for our goods, but the risks are also increasing. The risks are also increasing. Oh. It just crashed. Cool. That's good. Should we, um, should we try that again? <laughs> See if it doesn't crash this time. Dun 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 dun. Time is still going. I'm ruthless when it comes to the timer. I'm not going to cut out bits, even if it makes for better viewing. All right, continue. Campaign. My name is. Can I please skip this? I can press space and skip it. Beautiful. All right, pilot. Let's go mouse arcade then. Maybe that'll help. It's off with camel. Let's go. There we are. Right, steer the plane with mouse. Right shift and right control increase and decrease speed. Landing gear is G. Look around with the arrow keys. That's horrible. How am I supposed to be doing all that with my left hand? Oh well. Surely it'll it'll show me. Here we go, June the 16th, 1941, Tobruk, Libya. Didi, Just as I remember mind. it. How's it look? It looks very much as though we should be minding our own business, Tommy. The group leader's offer is generous. And, Didi, this is war. It affects us as much as anyone else if the fascists gain power. Yeah, bloody I'm fascists. A, smuggler, Tommy. a profiteer, not a folk hero. 
This isn't like your last war. This is altogether messy. I'm approaching Tobruk, and any fool who shoots me down also destroys 12 cases of single malt. That would be a tragedy. Oh, they got the jokes. Father, he would say to fight. My father is dead, Thomas. Over and out. Okay. Okay, Didi. Just bring your bus down into Brook. Try oh not my to God. attract too much attention, okay? I'll try not to. to lose that Van Blanc on Glaze. This is fine, I guess. I need to just head for Tommy, right? There's a bomb in the upper left, and I assume that's not real. Let's, let's get some altitude, shall we? Still can't remember the bloody controls. Hang on. Help. Okay. Machine guns, rockets slash bombs. Switch them. Right, G is landing gear up and down. Um... Increase speed is shift. All right, well, let's, let's go faster. Oh, we can't, but we can go slower. There you go, look at the bottom right. Whoa, they're shooting at me. Bugger that. Increase the speed. Increase the speed and altitude. Let's get high. Nice and high up. I mean, all of those are hitting me and exploding on me. Am I going to be okay? Non pad zero to activate adrenaline. Boom. Look at that. Oh, it lets me do stuff a bit faster, I see. Right, should we do some cool acrobatics? Yeah, I'm glad we're using the mouse. This is a lot nicer. <laughs> it doesn't crash the game, it seems. Let's do a nice low run over the water. We shoot the uh, yachts down. Presumably they're baddies. Right, well, we've got Tommy there and we've got a yellow thing there. I'm not sure which is which is what we need to aim for. We'll see. Presumably my bombs slash grenades uh, land on that white thing below me. Okay. Get up a bit higher. Oh no no, we're here. Sorry, Dee Dee. You can't land yet. Oh no. You're gonna have to plug those Luftwaffe planes. Here, yeah, the group leader wants a word. All right, show me the with gesture of goodwill. I've arranged a little surprise for those jerrys. Oh, hi. If you need help, head toward the marked ambush point. McIntyre out. Bye, bye, McIntyre. You heard the man. Act like a mouse. And bag yourself a cat. What are you talking about? Destroy Luftwaffe or lure into ambush. Right, where's the ambush? He did just describe. <gasps> Excuse me. Where the ambush is? Maybe that's the ambush over there. Let's let's lure them that way. Okay, they're all coming. Flip. Um, and they're, now they're all sort of circling to get behind me. That's quite fun. I'm going to try outrunning them. This is more fun. Okay, go down. Here we are. Lower to the ground. Whoa, you're not going to hit me. No, you're not. I'm going to lure you into an ambush. Oh, no, don't get me. Bloody hell, they're close. Uh oh. Was that my plane? No, it was. I don't think it was. No, it's all good. Go on. Oh, oh! He's surely done for. Not quite. Turn the plane faster by decreasing speed. Right. Okay, speed decreased. Let's turn around and speed back up again. Now. Oh, I know. I'm doing a great job of it. Ah, uh, oh, there's a plane, but. Oh! That was a bit close. <laughs> Where are they? Oh god, I just dropped a bomb on my own people. Sorry. Stall warning. Let's not stall, shall we? They're pretty good there. Look at that. Ah, we've got to aim for the, the bit, haven't we? Not the plane itself. Beautiful. Ah, oh, I'm actually really enjoying myself here. This is great. Right. There's that darned plane. It's right behind me. It's annoying. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Stall warning. Okay, let's try not to stall again. There we go. I am sucking at this. There we go. Ah. Oh, an earth-shattering kaboom. Right, let's speed back up and go and get this bastard. If I can shoot him down from here, I should win. 
the scenario. He's coming towards me. Yeah. Well, we did both. We lured and destroyed. The group leader flew with your father, Didi. I need good pilots, Mr. Beck. I have squadrons trained in aerial combat. It's confusing, Mr. Beck. requires more finesse. You will be well paid for your services, I can assure you. Money, but, Didi. We could hire that Aussie Ack Emma I mentioned. Come what's an Aussie Ack Emma? If I agree, will you let me land? I think she... I think they will. Right, well, there we go. We did it. Destination Tobruk. Land at Tobruk. Yep, we didn't actually do that in the end. It's annoying. I wish, wish we could have done. Destroy Lufthansa or lure into ambush. Done. Mission accomplished. Signed and sealed by... I don't know, Winston Churchill or someone. Group leader Gerald McIntyre has offered us money in exchange for services. Oh, my instinct is to say no. I've still no desire to become a lost cog in the Allied war machine, but I need an air mechanic to stay in the sky, and that costs money. Tommy knows a man, one of the Tobruk rats, and the idea of flying fully commissioned planes again appeals very much indeed. I guess I'll have to risk allying myself with this officer for a while, for a while, irrespective of the danger. Our resources dwindling, Tommy and I decided to recruit a maverick mechanic called Clive Greer. Close your an shirt, Australian man. Australian by birth, a wanderer by inclination, a drunk by character. No one else would take him, and he took pay in whiskey, which worked well for us at the time. I didn't expect a neatly pressed uniform and a brisk salute, but Clive still came as a shock. His overalls looked as though they'd been dragged down the runway and back. And he smelled as though he drank more fuel than he had put in the planes. Oh. But for all my misgivings, there was something about him that appealed. Like us, he was an outsider, a reject, trapped in the middle of somebody else's war. They get the Even most out of these still images, don't they? Clive can make a bathtub fly rings around a Messerschmitt, Tommy promised. And, like a good girl, I trusted his instincts. For better or worse, we had our mechanic. The skies were no longer safe. <laughs> Comma. All right. Like a good girl, she promised that she would join in. Okay, Tobruk is being choked in a war fought with machines. Parts are needed to keep those machines running. Ahmed's network has turned up some potentially useful spares, and we need them as soon as possible. We need a seasoned smuggler. Oh yeah, to bring them in. You should stay unseen during this mission. Avoid Luftwaffe patrols. Don't fight them. Collect motor parts at the marked point while undetected and return to the base. Seems good. Ah, oh, look at this. Zenith A6Z. Sure, let's do it. Ahmed is still our primary contact here, and he's as paranoid as ever. In fact, he seems to be waiting almost eagerly for his comeuppance, as if the strain is beginning to overwhelm him. But his criminal, criminal network has the connections, and he likes reliable pilots, so our arrangement is mutually beneficial. Anyway, we have a mechanic but no parts, and that's not going to keep me in the sky. Alright, if you need to stay undetected, keep a close eye on your radar and maintain a safe distance from all enemy aircraft. The critical distance is marked on the radar with a white circle. If you stay out of the circle, you can remain unnoticed. Alright, stay out of the white circle. Ins- Is that going to come back? Oh well. Ahmed has contraband for us, some motor parts. Clive can use a few and we can flog the rest. Ackman's waiting at the usual rendezvous point, but the sky's thick with Luftwaffe. Fly oh low, dear. stay out of sight, okay? Sounds good. Here we go. Collect most parts of the white point marked while undetected. Where's the white point? Oh, white point. That'll be over this way somewhere. Where's the white circle? Not really sure. And what's this? This looks like an enemy, like, spy thing. Avoid enemies to maintain stealth. Sounds good. Fly as low as possible. Wow. Almost on the ground. Altitude 36 meters. This is desperately dangerous. Low altitude increases stealth effect. Still can't see the, the white circle. Maybe it's the white circle that comprises the map in the lower left. I'm not sure. Well, we're doing all right. Go around here, pick up the supplies. Where are the supplies? They must be this way. Alright, well, we'll again keep down nice and low. 
We're all right. There's nothing ahead of us. Every every bugger's behind us, so happy days. Graze that cliff top there. Ooh. This looks fun. Is that where we have to land? Uh, fly through the yellow rings to land. All right. We never got to do it last time, did we? Diddy, that is you. Quickly land. And that is you. I cannot trust anybody. There are enemies all around. All right. Well. You would sound paranoid, Ahmed. Except oh. that you're absolutely correct. I mean, that kind of worked. Landing gear done. <laughs> that was shit. Okay. Collected the most parts. Now it's time to return to the base. Oh my god, I turn on sticky keys by pressing shift. I hate sticky keys. No, I do not want to turn them on. Turn it on. Are we back? Are we? Yes, we are. Okay, sick. Off we go. Landing gear off. Uh-oh. Why aren't we taking off? Stop turning sticky keys on! <laughs> Disable this key keyboard shortcut. <laughs> do not allow it. There we go. Boom. Oh, sorry about this, guys. This has been a, a complete nightmare of a game. Mainly because of my own fault, but there you go. Right. Well, let's just take the long way round. We've not got a time uh, to do this in, have we? So we may as well just really, really, really avoid everything by staying way out of way out of sight. And since I'm amazing at flying so low. I'm really tempted to shoot the machine guns and see if stuff comes after us. Alright, let's go up and over this ridge. Okay. So most of them are over there. Oh, there's one. There's one on this side of the mountain, I think. We've got to be careful. Lie low. Sugar me! There's there's one really close. He's heading to the left, so let's keep it low over here. Oh, keep it nice and low. This is like Top Gun Maverick. Never seen any Top Gun movie until I was on a plane, and I decided to watch Top Gun Maverick, and oh my goodness, what an incredible film that was. Just simple and fun. Exciting. I'm getting, I'm getting feelings of that. Hmm. There is one to my left I can see on the minimap there, but it's it's turning and I think we've avoided it. Let's uh, go up and over here. Oh, what a bit of driving. What a bit of piloting. There we are. I still don't quite understand where the, the white circle is that I've got to stay out of, but... And we seem to fly through the enemy area there and, and be fine with it, so let's try and land properly this time. I guess I have to go in from that side, so let's, let's do a turn. I'd like to land properly. The last one was really shocking. But there is someone coming in from behind me that I don't love. Right, lower the power. Not all the way down, so I stall, like last time. Shit, I'm stalling. Oh my goodness, it's not, it's not good. It's not good. Okay. All right. Less good. I mean, we did it, didn't we? Let's skip that one. Let's go on to the next one. We did it. Okay, we've lucked into some useful parts, which I, you know, managed to secure, because I'm brilliant. I didn't crash at the end. I'm not sure about this drunken Aussie mechanic. It's clear that my plane flies better after his attention, but his ever-present hip flask and chaotic manner annoy me. I can't shake the feeling that he's trouble, and by hiring him, I've hired his trouble as well. All right, Rommel must have some superior intelligence to be this effective. Rumours of Nazi spies are circulating, and whether they exist or not, it's damaging our morale. On the other hand, if they do exist and we can find them, that will raise confidence. This is a search and destroy mission, suitable for a single pilot. Ah, such as Didi. Get out of my laboratory. Use your instruments to locate the spy's hidden base in the desert. All right, we'll do that. Easy peasy. We are going to do the Spitfire. We crashed that, so we can't use it. Uh, if I was in World War II, they'd call me Spitfire. 
Whatever my misgivings about our agreement with group leader McIntyre, I'm now convinced of, his, of its benefits. Not only will my purse be fatter, but I'm beginning to feel positive about some of the work I'm doing. Anything I can do to help keep Rommel out of Tobruk keeps myself and my friends, helps myself and my friends. Shooting down Luftwaffe looks like becoming a regular event. In some missions, you'll be asked to locate something. You know, radio poundage meter to home in on signals. The signal will be stronger when you're facing in the right direction. If the size of the red pulsing area is decreasing, you're going in the wrong direction. If the red pulsing area is increasing, you're going in the right direction. Grim Very news, nice. Mr. Beck. Reports of Nazi spies operating on the southeast of Tobruk. Look at my spitfire. Part of our resupply difficulties. It would certainly explain the recent Luftwaffe presence. Precisely. A direct assault could get bloody. But if you can find their hideout, you can take them out cleanly. All right, let's try it. Months ago, I flew over a small oasis in that area. Might be worth checking out. Sounds good. Wow, we're going fast in this thing. Locate the hidden oasis. Okay, direction. The pulsing thing is on the word direction in the bottom left there. Okay. And it's, yeah, it's really pulsating when I go this way. This must be the right kind of, right kind of direction. I want to avoid engaging those nasty planes, though. Hopefully we can stay out of sight. Stealth mission. Shit. Okay, we've alerted the guards. Bugger. All right. Well, we're still going in the right direction, but we might need to stay low. Maybe we'll, I don't know, maybe we'll win. Is stealth out the window now? Am I faster than them? I don't really know. Oh, look at that. Okay, the direction thing is not going so well now, so we need to go a little bit further to the left, I think. Oh, I've done it. I see something. <laughs> yes, this is it. You were right, Tommy. Right, let's blow them up. Got a bomb. If anyone tries to escape, stop them, De Beck. We can't afford to lose them now. Oh, -ho! there goes an escaping vehicle, I think. Shit, we need to slow down. Okay, let's take these guys. Whoa! Switch between rockets and bombs. The scroll wheel, all right. Where's the other guy? There he is. Oh! B-E-A-utiful. Mouse wheel, let's just do a rocket, shall we? Missed. Oh, you've got to be precise, haven't you? Let's slow down a bit more. And... <laughs> okay. Give ourselves a better run-up. At least the planes are gone. Right, there we go. Nice turning circle there. And we're going to rocket them. Here we go. Here we go. Boom! Flip. All right. That's charging. Stall warning. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's go a bit faster. Make sure we don't stall, whatever we do. I'm going to drop a bomb on them this time. Oh! Okay. I'm crap at this. Right, do a nice turn like this. And we should be, we should be set. Here we go. Actually... Did we get him? I don't think we got them. Right, get the rocket again. Whoa. Seeing red. Okay. How is it not dead? <laughs> oh, stalling again. Right, turn around. Here we go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I dropped a bomb. That was a silly thing to do when stuck on a on a hill. Oh no. I will restart that one. Grim news, Mr. Beck. Reports of Nazi spies operating on the southeast of Tobruk. It would seem that they're part of our resupply difficulties. It would certainly explain the recent Luftwaffe presence. All right. Precisely. A direct assault could get bloody. But if you can find their hideout, you can take them out cleanly. No worries. Over a small oasis in that That's area. nice. I like being this high. Out. I love the way they've just matched my height. That's not cheating at all. Oh, I'll take them out. I'm good at this. <laughs> I might even switch to rockets as well. Maybe we'll be able to hit them. 
All right, the direction meter is sort of in the right direction. Yeah, this will do for now. Let's have a dogfight. I'm up for a dogfight. Let's get this one. Ready? Whoa! Did some good work against him. There's the hidden oasis, look. Not very hidden. Oh, look at that. What a turn. Whoa! Do another one. Fighting in the clouds up here. How are we going to catch you? No idea where the bugger is. Okay. Lovely. And the other prick's over this way. Four. Stall warning. I haven't been taught about stalling and what it... I mean, I know what it means. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Right, one last time. Let's not piss it up. Reports of Nazi spies operating on the southeast of Tobruk. It would seem that they're part of our resupply difficulties. It would certainly explain the recent Luftwaffe presence. Precisely. A direct assault can get bloody. But if you can find their hideout, you can take them out cleanly. Sounds Once good. Ago, I threw over a small oasis in that area. Might be worth checking out. All right, let's not try and alert them immediately. But we are going the right direction, so let's, you know, maybe, maybe... Ah, oh, look, let's get down nice and low, and we'll skirt around the back of that. There is one coming exactly in this direction, though. Let's get low. Don't alert anyone. There they are, look. But look, we're, we're, we're hidden. Happy with that. And he's actually going away. So yeah, we're, we're looking good. Let's drop a bomb on a civilian village. Absolutely detestable behaviour, but... What can you say? Dee Dee's a smuggler. Oh, look, we found it. Right. Something. Yes, this is it. You were right, Tommy. Okay, we're going to get this car. To escape, stop them, to Beck. Oh, wow. That's a shame. I think I've just destroyed that vehicle, which is nice. Fuck. Alright. I think the planes are coming as well now, aren't they? Let's do a quick... Quick turn, like that. Okay. Take down the planes. We're taking down the planes. That's the next objective. Whew, did quite well there. I stall warning, that's okay. Don't let it happen. One down. Brilliant. Who's next? This one. Okay, no aerial threat remaining. Oh, come on! It even targeted it properly and then didn't shoot the thing. So I guess... Oh my god, careful, careful. Careful, careful. Nice, nice power. There we go. Good, 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 good. Ooh, that was close. It doesn't help very much if we come in, like, directly at it, does it? But we're going to have to. Okay, that surely is destroyed. Let's swap to bomb. And we'll try and bomb it. Be done. Don't stall. You're fine. Right, nice quick turn. Don't stall. Okay, here we go. Yes! Absolutely, definitely blown up. And there's another. And there's another. This one's armed. Gee. Okay, let's go and get it. I'll try not to. Alright, maximum speed to get over there in time. Uh, I want to avoid where they were shooting me. 
in those buildings. So let's try and try and sort of go round that. Get nice and low. Slow down. Oh, speed up. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Can't hit me. Right, slow down. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's done it. And away. That's the second. But damn it, I see But blades. damn it. The others must have been distractions. Oh no. Bring them down to back. Okay. Massive turn suddenly. Switch to rockets. These German spies. Oh, I got it with a rocket. That's one. I know. I'm going to get them all. You watch. I might even rocket this one as well. Look at this. Ready? Ah. Oh, well, the rocket missed. Oh, there's more. I thought there were two. All right. Wow, there. Fast buggers. Here we go. And the time's up. Oh no. It's fine. I've got time to get these. Shut up timer. Okay. This is my this is my last last mission. Let's make it a good one. No failure this time. Rocket! Oh I'm glad that there's no collision detection. Because that could have been a shame. Right, I wanna rocket you. Ooh. No no no, we're we're chasing you now. I've got you in my sights. Bad luck. Destroy the two escaping done, biplanes on the road. Yeah, done. Our bacon for the time being. Indeed. Bacon saved Mr. Beck. We get our supplies, and the Rommel will be forced to reevaluate. Mission completed. Nosedive time. Right, that was a lot of fun. Stopping the Nazi spies reminds me that the war is a machine with many moving parts, a logistical operation, and all the big decisions are based upon the efforts of little people. The scale of it is frightening, but liberating as well. Danger and opportunity are money makers for me, and the greater the chaos, the more chance I have of staying independent. That has been Air Wars, my good people. Um, I might even carry on with this because it's really nice, it's fairly simple, fun. Um, and I have to smuggle some whiskey next time, so that'll be me next time I play this by myself. Anyhow, lots of love, lots of peace, you know, enjoy life. See you on the next one. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to Stoppy Steam Stuff and welcome to Zen Bound 2. I don't know where this came from, and I don't know what this is, and I've opened it up and, yeah. It looks like it could be a weird puzzle game. It looks like it could be some sort of relaxation simulator or something. I'm not sure. But as ever, we're going to go in blind, set our timer uh, for three, two, one, go. Right, we're on the tree of introduction. Classic gameplay. We have no record of it, obviously. All right. Uh, eagle. What does the menu say? Not very much. Okay. I can turn this thing around. Interesting. I've got a measuring thing down there. I've got a percentage down there. Oh, 4%. What the hell is this? 24% and whatever it is is growing in size. Is it this rope, perhaps? Do I have to tie it up? How do I... Uh, ah, okay. I'm just thinking bound. Maybe it's something to do with rope. Can I just tie it up round like that? Well, that's quite nice. Oh. Interesting. Minimum goal reached. I see. We've got to continue tying it round stuff. Is that right? Oh, well, it's round the beak. It's round the uh, nail. Tie up to the glowing nail to finish. Medium goal reached. I mean, how could you not reach the maximum goal of 100% tied? Because, look, I'm doing it. And I've got 50 centimetres to work with. Oh, just untied. That's all right. We'll keep it going that way, because I'm, I'm enjoying that. 
Now we could just keep on doing this, couldn't we? Just round the tail. Swing it up and over. Round the nail one more time. 99%. Oh, I see. So you choose when to do the nail at the end, when to complete the nail, because that hadn't been gone round fully, had it before, till the end there. Okay, well I got 92%, I think that's acceptable. Slightly scary flowers spawn, and we're into nail bombs. <laughs> okay, I think I'm starting to understand this now, it's just a sort of, yeah, zen kind of relaxation, nice game where you just do this sort of thing. There we are. One, two. Whoa, careful, careful. You can see this not being very zen at all, I have to say. So the, the rope always comes from where I am looking, basically. Is it colouring in as I time more and more of it? I think now we're going to try and tie it around this nail. There it is, there it goes. Take it round like that. Make sure that nail is complete. Whoops. Whoa! I meant to do. I haven't quite worked out what right click does. It does some different stuff, but it's not 100% 100% clear exactly what it is it does. Right, so keep that rotating around the nail. Is that nail done? I can't really tell. Let's do it like this. That'll do it. There. That is a complete nail. I don't care what you say. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest physics simulators I've ever I've ever played. I'm still only stuck on 40%. I'm not quite sure why. feels like I'm doing quite well, but what do I know? Right, let's get that Oh, nicely wrapped around there. Ah, okay, so that helps complete it as you touch more pieces, it colours it in and considers, considers it a percentage then. All right. One more on there. Minimum goal reached. It's a very low minimum goal. Then I think what we're going to do... is wrap it around like that, just to use a bit more string, rope, like that, and then the finish off. Oh, careful. I could see this being amazing. Play up the glowing nail to finish. I could see this being amazing in uh, in real life. Can you imagine having these things and just beautifully tying rope around them? Now, this is concerning. I have tied it up, but clearly not with the latest piece of rope. So I'm not sure it's going to like me with this. But let's try and get it across the middle. No. I don't think that's going to work, is it? We have to restart it. Okay. How do we know which one is the final one? Probably the one that doesn't have a blue glowy thing on it. Okay. Well, let's not tie that one up first, then. We can just tie this one up first. So, round we go. Then, oh, beautiful. Round it goes. I have a feeling this is going to be very different from the other stuff.
still be Steam stuff game in this episode, I have to say. <laughs> Guess which one I'm playing first. This one. Right, minimum goal reached, now we just need to get the nail, but I'm, I'm not settling for minimum goal. I want to get all of it. There we are. So there only has to touch those, it doesn't have to... Medium goal reach. Yeah, it doesn't have to actually wrap round them, which is interesting. I wonder if you can play with the keyboard. No. Doesn't seem that the keyboard does anything. The arrow keys or wazzed. Anything like that. Okay. Untie a little bit there. Let it fall up towards. Nearly there. All up towards the blue things at the end. There we are. There we are. Beautiful. Maximum goal reached. I mean, this is the introductory game, to be fair, so... No wonder it's fairly easy. But I suppose maybe the, the goal is not to tie it <laughs> like a dick, like I have. You know, where you just try and get the thing finished. I guess the goal is to do it in a nice way. Rope bombs. Why are they all called sort of really violent names? I don't understand that. Oh, that's quite cool. See this one? What was this? Classic gameplay. This called Nail Bombs. Rope Bombs. I don't like those names. Right, okay, let's tie this in a satisfying way, shall we? What's this? Oh, Rope Bombs! Right, I see. So they, like the Nail Bombs before, they have paint all over them, I assume. So let's... Yeah, cool. Nice. I think we just do it like this, don't we? All the way around. Uh, we've missed a bit at the start there. That's okay. We just, yeah, do a nice... Even tying up all the way around. That's a good place for that rope bomb. I think. This music's reminding me a bit of Faster Than Light. Medium goal reached. Whoa! What I meant to do. I will get one more on its bum, and then we'll tie up the nail to finish. It's not beautiful, is it? But it's done okay. Ah, oh, crap, it touched. Never mind. That's our finished... finished item. Rope Bombs 2. Give me that game. Give me. Okay, how are we going to colour the duck yellow? I reckon straight up and over to begin with. Try and keep this as dead straight as possible. Come on, explode, bomb. There it is. There, nice. Very good. Oh, this isn't aesthetically great, is it? Hmm. So that bomb's not going to get anything. Well, that should get us to 99 once that one colours in. Yeah, 100%. Excellent stuff. Aha! Alright, I'll take that. There's some sinister, sinister backstory behind <laughs> this finished creation, isn't there, really? Oh, it's horrible! Poor duck. Alright, well, 100% the nail bomb's two, so I'm okay with that. A five. Introduction two. Five flowers collected, the path upward is lit. Let's do the echidna. Nail bomb's two. Ah, oh, this is more like it. I like having a guide as to where I should, yeah, tie stuff. And I, I'm really into doing this. Where's the nail we finish on? There, down at the bottom. All right, maybe we don't do it that way then. Maybe we go up and over the top first. Straight up. Like 
that. Then, then we work our way down, don't we? So, over, sorry, under, over. Ah, oh, this is this is satisfying. Are you guys enjoying this? I'd love to know. Keep the keep the thing going. That's over. Then it's under there, and it's over this one. Then we head. Oh, no, 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 we've got another one up here. Uh, what did we do for this one? We went over, so we go under this one. Ah, ha, ha. There we go, the paint came undone on that last one, so didn't like that much. We're going to use a lot of rope this time, but that's okay, we've got loads to use. So, where are its eyes? These are its eyes. I want to make sure they're done f in a fun manner. Think we'll... Uh, go under that one, over this one if we can. Come on, fall into place. Oh, the satisfaction. There it goes. Lovely. Now... Uh, the finish nail is... I've lost it again. Oh, at the very... in the anus, we can say. I don't know. Okay. Retie that up. And it's round this one. Come on, round you go. Slot in. There we are. And then it's over to the eyes where we will do a full, full 360. Oh, careful. Hmm, worried about that. Looks like it's going to snap. Surely not. Let's not do a full 360 then. Instead, let's go in like that. Grab that eye. So I suppose the key to victory in this game is less important than the way you do it. Right? So you, you just you do whatever feels good, and then there are some sort of soft goals like this and this that you know inform what you're doing. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, I really want that to stay on there. And then we'll go right to the back. Start going round. Here, here we are. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see it toying? There we go. Don't tap the nail. I don't want to finish. Don't want to finish yet. Oh my god, nearly tapped the nail. Right, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna have to go under those, over this one. Because again, we need to try and keep this keep this all intact. I wonder if there's a speed run of this game. There we are. And then that's going to have to go round this one. On sap. Oh, no, hang on. Ah. Let's go up and over. It's tricky, look, because this bit here is... Yeah, it's trying it desperately to get free. Because it is kind of realistic physics-wise, isn't it? We'll use these nails, hopefully one last time. We'll act as a an anchor. Like that. Then, there we are. 99%. But I want to do them all, because I'm weird. Yeah, we, we've sort of messed this up a little bit. It doesn't look great. But that's alright. Let's just get all of them done. Under that one, over that one. Then, of course, our under that one. Then... Maybe under the nose, actually, might be quite nice. Then we end up going over this one. Who ever thought of a rope-tying relaxation puzzle game? And this is Zen Bound 2. There we go. Oh, I just got an achievement. 
anti-spike, blow up all nail bombs on the hedgehog. And there it is, tied off. Let's have a look at our masterpiece. I think, <laughs> there's a lot of rope there, but I think that's sort of symmetrical and sort of follows a nice pattern. It's not completely random. You know, we've got these gaps here and here, and you know, that forms a reasonably pleasant looking shape. That's a real shame that that happened. I don't think I meant for that to happen. Or at least if I did, I should have done it on there as well. Never mind. Stop analysing that one. How long have we got? I don't know how long we've been playing this. Oh, we've still got nearly half our time. Complete the last level of the Tree of Introduction. You may return later. Later return to the levels and refine your karma. <clears throat> Alright, so flowers, or the, the scores and the flowers are karma, I guess. Hey, how did we, uh... So that, we missed a... We didn't get to the maximum thing on that one, so we missed a flower there, I guess, because we're on 13 out of 15, so I assume that means... Yep, that one's on full. That one we didn't get full on. But I guess all the other ones we managed to score... Yeah, we got the, uh, the, the maximum goal reached. Nice. I don't really fancy refining my karma. I'll go back to the main menu. And give a shout to the Tree of Vitality. Try this. Anticipation. All right. What's what's the percentage this time, then? So it's literally just where the rope touches. Okay. How's best to do this? Start with the head, I think. Get that nicely wrapped up. Looks like I'm doing some sort of tribal figure work, doesn't it? Quite nice. No, 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 careful. Trying desperately to get off. Come on, flick back to here. There we go. Boing. That's what I wanted. Oh, it's so desperate to unravel itself, isn't it? Right, let's get that nice and secure in that corner there. And then let this be nice and secure here too. Uh, up and over that, there we are. Get round, and then I think we'll probably, yes, it's starting to try and sneak up again. We keep it there, that's most of that covered. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. Uh, quickly, if we go under the arm like this, that will give us a nice, yeah, a nice little swing to sit on. How about that? Hopefully that's not going to ping off now. Shouldn't do. Depending on what else we fuck around with. Oh, that is tenuous. Okay, let's go under the arm now. The head was always going to be tricky, wasn't it? Wrap that up all the way down the arm. The music's lovely as well. You can see this being quite soothing. And also quite rage inducing. <laughs> Not the music, it's uh, the gameplay. I'm losing this. Come on, back you go. There we have it. And well, I think to double down on the end bit there would be nice. How am I going to do that without losing the rope though? Um. I want to get it back underneath the arm and then wrapped around the opposite way, but I feel that doing that, I'm going to just... Hmm. I feel I'm going to... The rope's just going to come off there as I try and get it under the legs. I need to sort of put my finger there to hold it in place, but it's not going to happen. What if we very quickly just went... Oh. What if we got it up here as high as possible and then went... Like this. No, come on, quick. Leg first. Ah, oh, damn. It undid the arm bit. Do that one more time. Whoops. Oh, it's tricky to, tricky to control. Okay, here we go. Trying it again. Unless we maybe just go straight across. 
and do that. I didn't want to do that. It doesn't feel so elegant, but desperate times and all that. Oh, come on, gravity. Do me a favour. Right, across the back, across the bum. Try and stick to that little crease there. That's quite nice. And now, we're back here again. Where I'm now unable to get down that arm. I've got them built an impassable area for it. So maybe we just continue. I haven't done this well. You know what? I, I fancy making a good job of this. I'm going to restart it. And that was not a good job. What about... Let's ignore the head for now. But what about... We... Start with the arm like this. And making sure... Well, we'll get it nice and tight this time as well. So we really fill all of that... All of that wood in. Colour. Yeah, like this. There you go. Plus, it's less likely to come loose then, I guess, if there's lots of rope on it. And we've got loads to use. We've got a hundred to use, I've only just noticed. Right, so what if we did two up there now? And then we went over the legs here. To the other side of the arm. Or, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll reach all the way to the end and then we'll go across the legs to the other side and then... I, I think we should be able to carry on. Well, ping off. Thank you, but don't you ping off. You need to get back down. Hmm. That's annoying. Will it just carry on if I put it like that and maybe drag it up with the force of this rope? Eh. It's fine. That can be the one percent I'm allowed to leave. <laughs> right, now this is where... Oh dear, I've buggered it. Oh, I've buggered it. This is where I need it to go, under the bum. Under the bum and up. It's behind the legs. No, oh. Damn. Alright, it's going to have to stay up behind the legs anyway. I'm not mucking around with the other hand again, that's too difficult. And then we just do the opposite on this side. So, what's the opposite? Start about there. Oh, we can't do the opposite, can we? We're going to have to go from up here. I already, I've already ignored my plan. Completely and utterly ignored it. So, never mind. Let's just try and make the best of a bad situation then. Let's use that nail. Start heading down this arm. Like this. We're only on 31%. I guess it's going to be a lot easier when we're working on the big areas of the body and not these tiny, stupid little arms. Oops. I bet there's an art to this as well where, you know, knowing having a really good idea of where the rope's going to go beforehand can really benefit you. Any kind of fore planning, really. Something I'm not known for. Unless there's a prospective employer watching my, uh, watching my video here, in which case I plan ahead. Then again, if a pr prospective employer is uh, looking at my YouTube channel, chances are I haven't got the job. Right, that I don't mind. And I think what I'm going to do here is wrap the legs up. All well and good. Hmm. I want it to be a little bit straighter than that. Can we... Yeah, get it down on that other side. Straighten this up. I just need another hand that pushes it. Whoops. Really try and get that nice and tight. Work down the legs like that. Nope, stop slipping off. Stop slipping off. Wow, it's so desperate to slip off. Okay. Oh my goodness. 
Right, let's tighten it up here then. By going ah, down like that. Hmm, why is it going to wrap around though? Let's wrap it around this. Lovely. Can you settle into place next to that nail for me? Come on, settle in. I'm upset that it's going up and over like that. It doesn't feel right. Oh, it's because of that. Okay. Let's get the head mostly done, and then we'll just pretty much wrap up the whole thing. Like a spider! Lost patience. And this, this will be good for filling in a bit of the hands as well. No, 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 no. Stay there. Stay there. No reason for you to hop off now. Tap the glowing nail to finish. Tie up the glowing nail to finish. So, how are we going to get this done? This is going to be tricky. I think we can do it. Here we go. We go round like that and use this bit. That will colour some of it in. There we go, medium goal reached. That's medium the bare minimum, as usual. Or if a prospective employer is watching, I always do the bare maximum. I can see where I've gone wrong here. I'm sure you can as well. But uh, we've got some vast swathes of unpainted wood here. Never mind. I've used nearly 60 centimetres of rope. I think we might have to stick with that. We're not going to get 99% here. Even with, you know, using as much as possible like this. Got to 95. Let's try and, you know, colour up his bum. Whoa. Work. Colour in that bit of head. That, 96%. Bit of bum, 98. Oh, ha hang on. We might do this. Ninety-eight. Oh my goodness. Where else can we get? It's a little bit there. It's a little bit there we could probably fill in. No, I think we're I think we're done, aren't we? How about that bit of bum? Oh. There. No, not quite. Come on, colour it in. Colour in the bum. I think we have to settle for 98 here, don't we? Oh, we're actually hitting the limit because I've been silly. All right, 98% it is. And, oh, literally as the timer comes up. Well, we can enjoy our monstrosity. Look at that, 98% coloured. I wouldn't say it is based on that. That's really poor. I think it's been very generous. But, uh, yeah. Not quite necessarily what we should have been doing there. Fun nonetheless. Oh, that one looks good. Look at that. Nice nipple, na nipple nails and a nice red colour as well. Anyhow, that has been Zenbound 2. Thank you ever so much for watching. That's that button. Smash!